What's going on everybody? AMF1534 here. Let's play some more Conker's Bad Fur Day after I scratch my left eye. By the way, last time we had probably the weirdest boss fight I've ever seen in my entire life as a human being who plays video games, because it was pretty much just a man made out of pure shit and corn. And he could also sing not too bad. But that's beside the point. Now we got some other shit to do that involves getting through here. Wow. I don't know how I didn't fall through that, because... Now, that must be some thick shit. But yeah, I guess we can go through here now. I don't really know where it's going to take us, but we might as well give it a try. You mean to tell me that at the bottom of the shit pile is where his girlfriend lives? He's like, better have a good excuse this time. That is the last time he stands me up. Yeah, right. Conker, I've had a just about up to... Oh, yep, Who are that's... You? <laughs> that's a big guy. Look, whatever it is you're selling, I'm just not interested. Well? Are you fucking serious? He just punched her in the face! Yeah, God, if he rapes her, I swear to God, I'm gonna have to go crack some skulls. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it anyways, because obviously they took her hostage, but you don't just go, you know, bursting into a girl's apartment and then punch her in the face to take her hostage. I mean, it's not like he wasn't visually a lot bigger than her, that he could literally just be like, you're coming with me right now because I'm fucking 700 pounds, and that's enough of an intimidation factor. But no, he just had to go the extra level of punching her in the face, because that's not fucked up or anything. Oh, great. Oscillating blades. That's just what I need. As if I don't have enough of an issue. Man, there's some bubbles. That's... Okay, sweet. I was hoping that's kind of how that would work. But yeah, it's not like I don't have enough of an issue with games with blades like this, as uh, i.e. like Toy Story. You guys remember my Let's Play of Toy Story? Yeah, it was... God, what the... F I just got cut in half. Cut in half. That's really gruesome. I got blood spewing right out of my spine. But then again, I can see that's happened to a lot of other people here. That's a big bony hand. I don't know where he came from, but he's got me. I wonder. Is that extra? Awesome! We're never gonna lose a life in here. I can literally die as many times as I want in there. Be like, ha ha, you may have cut me in half, but I'm a squirrel. And I'm made of impenetrable everythings because I will never, in theory, actually completely die. Okay, so, let's figure this out. By the way, I just started listening to Atmosphere again, which, if you guys have never listened to that, I highly advise you do it because they're fucking awesome. And they have so many good songs. I can't believe I got away from listening to that for like a year. I mean, there's Modern Man's Hustle, which is my personal favorite, and then there's... Um, wild Wild Horses, and there's, um, there's you, there's painting, there's the woman with the tattooed hands may be my other favorite, actually. It's just such good music. Wow, I really hope I don't have to go through that, because that would be bad. Alright, let's go right through the shit shoot here, as if this doesn't, like, bring a direct reference to the Shawshank Redemption. He swam through the pile of shit. 500 yards. Oh, God, yeah, that's gonna happen. I didn't mean to do that at all. Fucking schlig schlig. Fucking Morgan Stoyage Markleflyeth. Yeah, that was that was my little sample of, j of my Excelsior gibberish. Yeah, fucking Mazolian Ziggermulen Harkle Vilgesnishin Tarkle Mubif. God purr. Alright, no more no more gibberish. Fucking Jaegermeister. God damn it. Right when I thought I wouldn't have problems with the goddamn blades again, they're like, oh no, sir. We're just gonna make this segment hard for you, because we know that you don't like things with blades, Adam. 
But yeah, yeah, Atmosphere. Totally awesome. They have a shit-ass of albums, too. They have they have a lot of stuff to listen to, but I started getting back into that last night. I was like, hey, I haven't heard this song in a while, so I'll listen to it. And I was like, dude, where have I been? The music is just too good. It's like almost actually too good. I will show you all you need to know. You must hold on to anyone that wants you, and I will love you. They're simple in the struggle, but girl, you gotta understand the modern man must hustle. Yeah, a little bit of a blurb from my favorite song of theirs. Good old modern man's hustle. No, I am not a rapper, and no, I, no, I do not plan to be, but I do love that song. That's so gross. I never want to swim through shit like this. Okay, let's not get ourselves cut into 5,207 pieces. Let's just calmly take care of the situation at hand. Let's look around here. That is where we probably need to go. No! Oh, get up the thing, man! God, I almost got my tail cut off again. And what is a squirrel without his tail? Well, he's pretty much nothing. We'll put it that way. Please tell me that's not lava. Is that lava? The survey says it could be. Why am I going around, you say? Because I feel like there might be a secret back this direction. Danger. Poo! Yeah, not going to be any more poo for this guy. I've had enough of the poo train for a while. Is that... Those are tribal men with spears. I could have had a very racist comment just now, but I decided to spare you guys because I don't want to have the barrage being like, Hey, that's very insensitive. Blah, 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 blah. Ouch. Um, can I get back? No. You have to pay him. Um, the toll. Yes. <laughs> a toll. How much? Um, oh, a thousand dollars? A yeah. thousand? I don't have a fucking thousand. A thousand should do it. Five hundred each. Come on, just look. Look like he looks like what he got it. Yeah, looks like kind of a pauper. These guys have really weird voices. Oh, a thousand dollars. Oh, I need to gotta go back that way. No. Um, Skrill. What did they look like? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what they're getting themselves into. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm come back. Let's keep guarding. Okay. So, what happens if I go back over here? I wonder if I can get by him. I absolutely cannot. Okay. So, we have to find another $300 somehow. I don't know where we're going to find it. But we need to find it nonetheless. So, exactly how do they figure we're going to do that? So what happens if I go down in there? Does that mean I'm going to get chopped up into oblivion by the blades of doom again? I don't want to have that happen at all. Oh, wow, it's definitely lava just like I thought it was. That really, really sucks. Okay, well I am absolutely dead and I burnt to death. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. By the way, I, saw, I don't know if I've ever seen this before, that's why I was so, like, amused by it, but I saw a guy that was going, you know, driving around in his motorized scooter. Or, yeah, one of those little things. It wasn't like a Vespa, but it was just, like, one of those, like, makeshift ones that has, like, the little gas tank in it. And I saw a guy that was, like, driving that down the road, but he had, like, a whole tank of gas in, like, the little basket thing in the front, and I was like, exactly what's convenient about that? Um... No, Can I get back? dude, I don't want to see this whole thing. No. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to pay. Okay, I, I understand. So, the better question is, is how the fuck do I get around? Do I go up that way, or what's, what's going on here? Okay, so I can't go around that. Well, this totally fucking sucks. Like, what am I even supposed to do? I don't even know where I am even supposed to go right now. I can't go back down there, I'm gonna get my fucking head cut off again. So, hold the phone. This is gonna be a really, really stupid experiment that I'm going to try. But, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna save right before we go in there, just so I don't have to go through that goddamn thing again. Here we go! 
Oh, buggers. No. It's this bullshit again? Okay, well that was a total waste. Yeah. Yeah, total waste of my time. And that's one of the few times I'll be using save states ever in this Let's Play. I just didn't want to have to go all the way through that bullshit again, and I still don't know where to go, and then there's an extra life up there. And there's an entire something up there. I don't know how to get to any of it. Not a clue. Not a fucking clue. Well... Shit! That's not even cool. Yeah. Sorry if I decide to be a cheating and glorious bastard if that seems to offend you guys, but I just didn't feel like trying to figure this out. Well, what the fuck, dude? I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. It doesn't... It doesn't seem to be making sense to me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really... Huh. Yeah, there's no way to get through here. Unless... Yep, there's absolutely no way through that. So... What the blue balls? Huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I absolutely don't know. Well, at that expense, guys, just because I have no fucking clue, I guess we're kind of fucked until next time, because I, I mean, I could literally sit here for the next two hours trying to figure out where I should go, but that's not going to make this process go by any smoother, so I guess... I don't know, when we come back the next time on Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day, hopefully we can make some more progress here, because until then, I'm, I'm fucking just really stuck. Just absolutely fucking stuck. I'm just trying to figure out where I could possibly go that wouldn't involve getting me lost. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man, fuck, this, this fucking sucks. Why are they gonna make this shit so goddamn hard for me? Even though the the funny thing is this probably isn't even hard. Somebody's probably like, what the fuck are you doing? You just fucking go right over there, you know? But I never really noticed how big these bolts are. These things are fucking huge. Yeah, you'd have to push them. Alright, so let's figure this shit out, man. Okay, so if I go down in there, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my balls cut up into a million pieces and served on a plate of fish. If I go over there, I obviously can't go over there. There's obviously nothing in that gate because I can't go in there. That's full of lava, and I can't get up on that mountainside or up there to get an extra life. So, I guess that only leaves me one option. And it doesn't really seem like it's going to help me at all because I was kind of already here once, I think. Um, yep. So I guess we're going to try this. I don't really know what else we could possibly do. And we can get an extra life while we're at it because I want it. I want to put it in my pocket, just in case I need it. So, oh, great. Back through this little gauntlet of fun. I'm so excited for that. Oh, don't, don't drown, man, don't drown. Good, good for you, good for you, Mr. Conker. I don't know how funneling bubbles into your jacket is going to really get the job done. Hello. Hello. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. That movie used to scare the shit out of me. Oh, God! Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> that is one way to get the job done. With dying and such. Is that gonna put us all the way back at the beginning? No, it isn't. Now we're gonna be stuck up here now, trying to find a way to get back out of this thing. Grow! No! Great. Yep, that was an awesome idea, Adam. Way to go. Way to go. And the Platinum Award for Best Move in a Video Game goes to... Not me. Yeah, that's what I get. All I get for that little escapade is just getting my ass dropped back on a nice piece of metal. That's what Adam gets, because that's what Marvin wants. Wow. Ten for entry. Ten for the entry. And one for the extra life. Grazie. Okay, I'm going to save right there, actually, just because I don't want to have to... Uh, is that five? Five. Yes. Alright, five. Just so I don't have to try to deal with that bullshit of trying to 
go all the way down through this again, because apparently we have to swim all the way through the Blades of Glory. Come on, Mr. Man. We're gonna make it together. And by together, I mean by himself. I don't want to get cut into a million pieces and served with some... Oh, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so we've made it back here. And I would love it if you would get some of this. Thank you. That's another blade. I don't want blades. Why do I feel like we've already been here before? If this takes me to the same spot, I'm going to be really upset. It absolutely did. What the fucking hell, man? Did this literally... This literally took me right through this again. What kind of bullsh snort is that? Yeah, fucking shit. You know? This is upsetting me now. To an extent. I feel like I missed something. No, fuck you. So, hold the damn skin. Hold on ju- Yeah, see? This is, this is what's going on. I knew something didn't seem right about that. I was like, I didn't have to swim all the way through this one time. I could have just gone right out of the thing. Oh, okay, all right. This this works. This works. This is how we get out of here. So I guess that was what we were supposed to do. And my largest apologies for making you guys wait for my slow ass to figure out the problem. I mean, you know, this is a blind run, mind you. I mean, I'm not always going to figure everything out right off the bat, but we eventually got to the root of the issue. And we're back to the shit fields once more. But we are currently out of time for this episode, but... Once we come back, I just want to get out of the shithole for a minute. I want to go stand on this nice little piece of cut wood. But yeah, when we come back next time, we have a whopping $300 to come up on somehow. Hopefully it doesn't involve half to resort to prostitution, because I don't think I want to have to be fucking bees. So yeah, when we come back next time, it's money hunting. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.